This classroom is cleaner and brighter than it was before. And it's all thanks to these LED lights. It's just one step in the Hardin County School District's effort to save money, energy, and create learning opportunities for students. To read about it um, in a textbook or watch a video about it is one thing, but being able to see how it's impacting them specifically is, I think, really valuable. Teacher Kylie Alcorn says the district's energy savings initiative will be a hands-on experience for students taking AP environmental science. I thought it was really interesting that we got to go to a meeting and hear about the improvements that our school is making. Her class was present for the announcement with Train Tech Technologies on Thursday. This is really historic for us here in Hardin County. In addition to LED lighting upgrades in 16 buildings, the district is installing geothermal HVAC systems at Lakewood and New Highland Elementary Schools. Crews are drilling 121 wells between the two schools to generate heat from four to 500 feet below ground. They're also in the process of putting solar panels on the roofs of 12 buildings. Each location will have its own online dashboard so students can track how much renewable energy is created and how much money the district is saving in real time. This is only 16 days worth of data, but in 16 days we've saved $256. Superintendent Terry Morgan says these efforts will reduce the district's carbon footprint by about 900 metric tons and save more than $280,000 a year in energy costs which will put millions back into classrooms in the future. This is going to be over a 20 year project that we will start to see greater and greater returns as we go down the road. The energy efficiency upgrades are expected to be complete by this spring. It's going to impact our lives, our children's lives for future generations. In Hardin County, Madeline Carter, WLKY News.